Commonwealth Games runner-up from a season ago, Jaheel High from Jamaica, leads this field through the men's 400-meter hurdles. Our next-to-last event, and High is out very quickly. Very quickly, indeed, and he'll want to keep that rolling. He, the meet record is 48.80, and if he can go a tenth faster, he'll get that world champ standard of 48.70. So High has made up the stagger on everybody but McLaughlin there, way on the outside as Hyde continues to power away from this field. The two times it's been a Jamaican national champion in this event. Way on the outside, McLaughlin going stride for stride with him. This is gonna be quick here through the final 100. McLaughlin on the outside and Hyde in the middle and at the line, it will be McLaughlin winning it. Out of lane number eight, the 25 year old American running 48-38. Wow, huge time for him. I think I know another McLaughlin who runs the 400 hurdles who's think so pretty too. quick as well. Season's best there for Hyde, a really tight finish for him. 48.57 and 49.04 for Kinjiera. And those are your top three athletes all under 50 seconds. Here you see that replay head on. And like you said, Will, just absolutely neck and neck. And we were talking about relaxation earlier, and I think that McLaughlin just was able to hold that composure a little bit better across the line holding off his dip for the perfect moment and just taking high by a few tenths of a second. So McLaughlin, the 25-year-old, it's a family affair at the 400 hurdles for the McLaughlin family. Of course, Sydney, the gold medalist and world record holder. Mm -hmm. They look doing an excellent job here, too. Absolutely.